to you guys. I'm very confused with the infatuation. Like, extremely confused. Out of nowhere, she just want to talk shit. We're not in each other's lives. What is the issue? What are you so mad about? Your decision? And then let me tell y'all that. People will dead ass be mad at you. No, listen. People dead ass would be mad at you, right? For not giving up. For being successful. For staying the course. And for doing you. That's a you problem. I had to realize that I'm going through the same shit. I'm going through the same shit with my family. That's a you problem. You feel insecure. You feel inadequate. And now you want to fucking take it out on me. That's not the way this shit go. Motherfucker, we got the same 24 hours. What the fuck you doing with yours? You understand what I'm saying? And this is the part I can't get. This is the part that really kills me because it's just like, how the fuck you mad at me and we got the same 24 hours, bruh? You got the same time to do what I've done, top it or whatever, but you want to stay stuck in the past. I'm going through the same shit with family right now. One of my brothers is going ape shit about shit that happened in the past. Like he literally will not let it go. Super successful. Hold on. Full, you know, really nice guy, a lot going for himself and he literally will not let the past go. I'm not understanding. Like, why? Do you understand how stagnant this is keeping you? Do you understand this is how you lose your power? When you let the past hold you? You understand what I'm saying? It wins. Yes, when you let your demon, demons catch you, that shit win. You got to move on. You got to figure out how to move on. Lyric, I'm recommending mad therapy for you, bro. Like, you need mad therapy. Like, I, I should not be on your mind still. It's weird. Now, I'm used to guys being obsessed with me like this. But the girls, I don't know. Girl, let me tell y'all. So, real tea, I don't know what it is. Because I just did another show, too. Right? I just did a whole other show. I just, y'all know that. I just came back not too long ago. And, and, and real tea, I didn't curl this. I was sleeping. I fell asleep. <laughs> My client messaged me like, uh, Tony, should we go post today? I'm like, whoops. <laughs> um... So, don't judge the hair. It's not curly or nothing. I literally was sleeping. Um, then I woke up, put gloss on. I thought I was going to go get Taqueria. You know Taqueria? So, Taqueria is like the new version of Chipotle, but better. But, girl, I got so damn... Aiden was coughing. You hear it and you, you hear, like, the thing, right? Like, I'm coming down with something, sis. I'm like, fuck it. I'm staying home. I'm about to go roll up. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... Damn, what the fuck I was telling y'all? I feel like I was telling y'all something mad important and, and then I got sidetracked. I don't remember. But, anywho. Oh, I was telling you about I just did a show. Yeah, so, I just did a show. And it was the same shit. And what I'm coming to realize is, even as a kid, like, girls have an issue with me. They just have a problem. Now, let me just explain. Before I became this girly girl, I was like a tomboy from, from Mad Long. I never had issues when I was that. When I was like a tomboy, I never had issues with the girls per se. Even though they didn't really like me because I was always with the boys. Why was I always with the boys? I'm the only girl. My mother did have a, a first daughter. My father has a, a whole set of children before he met my mom. But for my mother and my dad, I'm the only girl. You understand? So my sister who wasn't raised with us, it was just me and a house full of boys. What is that going to tell you? My brothers happen to be older and, and I have a younger brother. So I am I was like in the middle of all of them, their homies, the neighbors. This is how I grew up. So when you see a lot of this masculine, tough energy, I mean, it might be a little bit of Virgo. I don't know. But it's definitely from childhood for sure. This is how I grew up. When the, but guys... It wasn't until I think I was like 13 when I started to kind of dabble with a little hair stuff, makeup and shit like that, that I started to kind of like, okay, let me see, you know, let me see what this do, let me see. And then I'm, you know, I realized I wasn't bad looking and I decided to kind of go that route. But I still had the boyish ways in me. Now, in regular life, in real life, naturally, I gravitate towards the guys. I don't know. Now, they mixy too, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yes, they talk and everything. Don't get me wrong. But with, you see, with the guys, it's not as catty. You know what I mean? And 
it's either they, in my opinion, f- like with dudes, it's literally very simple. It's literally, it's either they fuck with you or they don't. There's usually no in between. Like they'll work with you or whatever the case is, but that's it. Like, you understand what I'm saying? It's either they mess with you or they don't. And I like that mantra. I like that mentality. So I, I, I stayed there until later in life, I met my tribe of amazing women who feel the same way that I feel and go through the same thing. Cause I always felt like I'm too, I'm too like bougie for the bougie a little bit for the hood girls, but too hood for the bougie girls. But that in between, that in between, that's like a mixture kind of like bold. That's me. You understand? So, so I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but I, I really think, I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, why do I, I constantly have issues when I give props? Why do I constantly have issues when I'm not a hater? Like, with women? Like, why? Like, what's the issue? You understand? And I realize it's not me. It has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with them. Yes. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, when you start to really understand who you are, and you do the work. Yes, sweetie. You okay? Yeah. Oh, hell no. You just walked up to me and just rubbed you. Hold on. Wait, stop. Hold on one second. You, so, you all right? Nose running? Go upstairs to, to wipe it. How you just gonna walk up to me and wipe your nose on my shirt? Guys, I got, I'm like grossed out. Do me a favor. Come. Come. Go, go up to Dada. Dada got a napkin. Don't, don't do things like that to me, okay? All right? Go up. Don't do things like that to me, okay? I mean, you're my son and everything, but you know, you're not going to say nothing. You're just going to walk up to me and just, that's mad OD. That's mad OD. Like, wow. <laughs> no good, no good evening. Now. And you just walk up to me, look, like, whoa, <laughs> wiping his, his nose running. How you wiping on my shit? Like, what the? F- Yo, bro, it be your own kids. It be, it really be your own kids. That ass. Um. Yes, yeah, so what I was saying to you guys, what I realized, what I realized is it's not me. I'm not the issue. It's them. When you are sure of yourself and you are confident, it doesn't mean that you don't have flaws. It doesn't mean that you understand that you're, in, you, know, you, you, you know, we understand. I understand I'm, I am also imperfect, but I'm comfortable in my skin at any size, at any whatever, any hairstyle, any anything. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm comfortable in my skin. So, it bothers people. It bothers people. It makes people very uneasy. They want to fucking know, why the fuck are you so sure of yourself? Why? Where does that come from? How dare you? How dare you think you the shit? How dare you have so much confidence? How dare you be so calm? How dare you be so chill? What I've learned over the years, that's their problem. Do, you, do y'all hear me? Do you understand me? And you will go through this. You, when you have a light, which I do, and I'm blessed in that regard. When you have a light and that type of stuff, they'll do some people, some people gravitate towards it. A lot of you do, a lot of you get it. You know what I'm saying? They'll get it. But a lot of people will try to do anything to dim it. You know what I'm saying? What you said? Her what? Well, she purchased the blue check and it's still not gonna be popping. She was better off hitting me up saying, sis, I'm trying to start this podcast. What do I do? You have any pointers, this and that? I would have helped her got sponsors. I would have went on the show. She probably had to pay me. I ain't going to hold you. Whatever. But yeah, I would have did. You know, she was better off doing that than trying to get, throw shade and lie. And lie. Oh, what she said? I was crying and I was such a punk when I was going to jail. You wasn't in the house. <laughs> Your scary ass left week two. Or week three. You understand what I'm saying? So what's the problem? No, for those of you, I see you in the comments who are saying, oh, thank you, boo. I'm excited for y'all to see it too. Y'all gonna love it. Y'all gonna love it. 
Definitely looking for clout. Hi, Cody. Cody, like I couldn't even listen to, I couldn't even listen to the whole thing because I was just like, what the fuck is she talking about? We were never close for me to have any conversation with you, number one. Number two, you wasn't even in the house when I went to jail. You been left. What are we saying here? What's going on? You looking for an ad, sis? Like, what's going on? But no, people are going to expect you to minimize yourself. Don't. It is a them problem. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to say, you might go through this. Listen to me. You might go through this with your family. You might go through this with in-laws. Hell, you might go through it with your own mama. No, dead ass. That's a whole other conversation. Like, I, back in the day, they used to be like, oh, please, who's going to have their kids and be jealous of their kids? And da, 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 da. that's a real thing. That's a real thing. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the case with me, but mothers dead ass want their, some, some mothers dead ass be wanting their daughter's lives. Dead ass. That's the thing. You might have to deal with it. Some of you, listen, and the more I meet women and the more I talk to a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Rhonda. I know, sis, I got to hit you. For sure, I'm ready to get my locks on. Um, the more I talk to women, the more they tell me, yo, the first person who broke their heart was their mom. I'm serious. I talk to a lot of women, you guys, and they'll tell, them, they'll tell me, the first person who ever broke their heart was their, was their mom. That ass. That's like a thing. That's the thing. So, for those of you who shine bright, to so all the girls who shine bright and the guys who have a light about them, shine on. The problem is them. It's not you. And we're not going to fix I just had to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes without realizing it, once I felt like, okay, maybe my energy is too much, let me just... Let me just, let me, let me be quiet. Let me not, you know, do too much. Let me, and I'm like, no, no, fuck that. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to talk. I'm going to speak. I'm going to be me, period. You know? Hi, Derek. Oh my God. I haven't seen you in forever. Hi, babe. Oh, I love Derek J. Everybody say hi to Derek J. Derek, to this day, I have never forgot about the concoction. Remember? What was it? What was it? Listen to the concoction Derek had us drink when we was out. Uh, it was Patron, Grand Marnier. Le hey, was it lemon juice? That shit is lit. It was something else. Hi. Hi, Queen. Yeah. Yeah, y'all see, y'all see Derek J, right? I love Derek. Yes, y'all. Look, I... I love it. Yes, Derek. What's up, boo? How you doing? You still in Atlanta? You know I've been wanting to come down there. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be good. You know, it's a lot going on right now. I'm trying to stay away. I can't talk about that on this live, but yeah. <laughs> Anywho, huh? Lime juice, right? Yo, that drink had me lit. I don't even drink like that. I only drink wine. Yeah, I only drink wine. So, oh, champagne. I mean, you know, I have like a little cognac, like a little bit. But honestly, if it's not, let me show you. And honestly, I feel bad because I drink too much of it. I should honestly buy stock at this point. This is my drink. You see it? Um, it's Sauvignon Blanc by Josh. So while filming, I literally was drinking this like water. <laughs> Hit me up, sis, about the makeup. Yeah. Do I have any friends that are a Leo? My uh, baby father. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, Jovic. I have no idea, but I heard JetBlue was ro rolling down there. So I may make a visit at some point. So anyway, let me just finish this up. Oh, thank you. It's a little messed up because I like woke up and just jumped out and whatever. TV. Um, it's July, I think. Don't quote me. I don't know exactly, but it's, it's, it's giving July. I want to tell y'all so much stuff, but I can't. But good things happen as a result of me doing the show, which was the whole point. And Satan kept trying to stop me um, from doing it. And I'm so happy I did, you guys. I'm really so happy I did because I think, I think it might have paid off for what I want in the end. I'm, I'm, let me just, I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm done. <laughs> like, I don't want to do no more reality TV. It's too extra. Like, this last one was, like, intense. You will see. 
Um, and I just came to the conclusion that I'm nuts for real. Like I'm really that, like really, really about that life. Like for real. I don't violate people. I don't disrespect people. I only match energy. So at this point in time, like I'm a real mama. You see my son was here. You seen what happened earlier. Like my son is always with me. I leave my son. For me to leave my son, it has to make sense. And also I, I'm not trying to go to jail. Because, see, they playing. They be acting up for TV. And I'm like, nigga, I will really hurt you. Do you understand? Like, I changed a lot. And I did find Jesus. And I, I, am, I am a lot more refined. As You know, I'm in my 30s now. But, like, don't, don't try me still. You understand what I'm saying? That's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't fucking, excuse my language. Don't try me, bro. I'll never disrespect you. I'll never. You, anybody, that come, anybody that talks about me will tell you, Tanisha's. Mad professional, mad respectful, mad fair, mad sweet. Or I never violate. I respect everybody. If you white, purple, green, ombre, I don't give a shit what you like, who you like, what you like to do in your spare time. Just don't violate me. And I ask that we keep that same, you know what I'm saying? I ask that from everybody. The moment you violate me, now we have a problem. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's how I was raised. That's how I was raised. I don't judge people. I don't, no, none of that. None of that. I'd be like, oh, that's not my business. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, he likes what he likes. Men and women. That's not my business. That's not my bed. Okay. Not my man. Okay. Not my business. You understand what I'm saying? I don't judge. I don't judge. So it's like, why are you trying to buy? Don't try to. Don't, 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 don't do it. I get so upset. I get so upset. I get so upset. Y'all know how to calm the fuck down. I don't know how to calm down. It literally starts off at a fucking 20, you guys. My tip is nuts. And then that's why, that's why, that's another reason why I calmed down. Because I had to recognize my temper. I see y'all agree with me. I had to recognize, you understand? Because I really get there. Like I really go there quick. They still be on 20. And I'm on 200. So I had to calm the fuck down. <laughs> and I step back. So a lot of times, honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. It might seem like I'm walking away. Or I'm running away. Or I'm leaving. You understand what I'm saying? It might seem like that. Nah, I'm trying to go to jail because I know what I'm capable of. Period. Yeah. Which is that you're not what? You're not expecting anything crazy though. Yeah. How I should be with people. Yeah, exactly. Right. Treat me how I treat you. That's all I ask. That's all. Yes? What he do? Child, look, I gotta go. You see, I can't even talk to y'all. Anyway, it's been lovely. I, w I would love to stay here and, um, and talk to y'all. Huh? You've matured and love your freedom. There you go. There you go. And my son. Because let me tell you something. My mother does a great job, but it can't nobody take care of my son the way I do. His daddy does a great job, but once again, same thing. Can nobody do the job that I do? So I need to be around for my pitney, period. You understand? And when in the grand scheme of things, people aren't worth that. You know what I mean? So that, that's what be stopping me, sis. But I know me. I know my temper. I know my fucking temper. And it can get crazy quick. And I'll be warning people. I'll be like, no, 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 don't. No, 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 no. I just did a show. Same shit. I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do it. And I, I, I give warnings. I do warn. I'm like, no, no, don't. You're poking the bear now. You're poking... <laughs> and they keep and now the bed and exploded <laughs> you know now everybody oh now everybody looking at me like oh oh you crazy <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's why you need to back <laughs> yeah just yeah you know but other than that I'm chill we not gonna have no problem you good I'm good you know what I'm saying my friends I got friends from all different walks of life you know, luckily for me, a lot of my friends are super successful. A lot of them own their own businesses now. They're doing really well. But I do have some friends that are still trying to figure out. I love them all the same. If I got it today, they got it. If I don't got it, they got me. That type of vibe. I'm one of those. I'm not one of those when the bill come. Well, I got this and I got that. No, fuck that. <laughs> if I got money, I'm putting money down on the bill. I don't care what I want. I might pay them for the whole thing, depending if I got it. I'm one of those. I got your backpack. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you about yourself, but I got your backpack. That's your sandwich? Yeah, you Every time you order it, I swear it just looks better. No, 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 no. I, I really don't want, I don't want to eat bread like that because I'm going to be on camera. That's the thing. I'm having, a, I'm having um, difficulty choosing food because, like, I don't want to eat too much. I can't believe I'm saying this. Carbs. You know I'm getting old. I never gave a shit about that before. 
but I I do now. Like I'm I've become so you guys. I become a little bit obsessed with like image. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Like I drive myself nuts now. Yeah, like I really kind of watch what I eat. I eat still like what I like, but <laughs> I don't eat a lot of it. I cut out a lot of junk food. I was a big snack girl. You know that. You know I love my chips. My chocolate, I love y'all too. Everything, I cut out all that stuff. Juice, juice made me happy. Now, I have it every so often. Guess what happened to me? Because I cut out the sweets like that, you know what ended up happening? Now it's too sweet for me. That ass. I could barely drink. Listen, I'm not lying to you. I could barely drink a regular cup of juice by itself. Have to dilute it now. Like It's, it's, it's like, damn, it's sweet. You know, match yo, the other day, my niece had, what that shit called? Sour power? Oh, I used to love sour powers. Now I'm eating that like, damn, yo, shit. And I used to eat this shit like nothing. I can't do it no more. Um, what's the chips? I used to love too. Unless I'm real stressed, I could eat it now. But now I find myself going, oh, uh, uh, the yellow one, the, 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 the Lay's, the potato chips, that shit full of salt telling you it's crazy it's crazy yeah you good with what zero zero sugar yeah yeah food makes you happy you can never completely avoid sweets well i had to make a decision because like i like a lot of um i like a lot of wine so in order for me to enjoy my wine the way that i do i get i had to give it all up and i did like, all of it. Like, juice, cookies, cake. I gave it up, up. So I could drink. But I need to let go to drinking, too. That's a whole other problem, too. I'm having a little bit of an issue with that, you guys. Like, I'm not drinking bottles. But if, 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 if I'm having a crazy day and it's, like, like super busy, I could go through a bottle. And that scares me. Like, I won't even realize it because I like, I like how I'm on the phone with y'all. I'm talking to FaceTime. Like, I'm grabbing it, doing something with my son, taking a packet, taking another sip. You know, boop, another call coming, stressing this. I go roll up. I have another cup. Like, before you look, the bottle is down. And it's like, oh, shit. And it's not even the nighttime. It's early evening. <laughs> Wait, huh? Huh? It's good, but it's bread. Hold on. It's good? I don't want to eat bread, Carrie. Yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great night, and we will talk soon. Be safe, you guys, okay? All right. What kind of work do I do now? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. What's that? I don't... Somebody asked me that the other day. Somebody asked me that the other day. Who asked me that? A girl that, 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 said, that thought she knew me at, uh, at, at Old Navy, right? She's like... I walked up. She's like... You look... This is what they always do. You look like that girl. So I was standing there like, oh, no. Because the store is packed. So I'm like, no, no, no. She's like... You not that girl from Bad Girls Club? <laughs> So I'm like, no, no, no. I keep getting that, though. Listen, look, look at me. I keep getting that, though, but the truth is, I look better than her. Tell the truth. <laughs> That's her. I was like, I don't, I don't look better? Yeah, but I think you her. I think you I'm like, tell me the truth. She was like, I don't know. I don't know. She asked her coworkers, so she look like the girl from the bad girls? She looked like her, right? She whispered to the girl. So the girl was like, I think that's her. So the girl came. The girl was like, aren't you the girl from Bad Girls Club? I'm like, come on. Stop playing. You know damn well I look better than her. You know I look better. You know I'm fine as hell. Right? <laughs> the girl was like, yeah, yeah, you know what? My bad. You right. You do, you do look better. And she is kind of chunky. She is kind of fat. <laughs> I'm sitting, yo, I'm sitting there trying not to die laughing. And I'm sitting there like trying to hide the laugh, right? So look, look. She goes, the, girl, the, the original girl goes, put your number in so, for your points. So now I know. Once I put my number in, the, name, the thing is going to come. If you shop at Old Navy, you know. 
it says, welcome back, Tanisha. So I start laughing, right? <laughs> Before I even put my number in, I start laughing because I'm like, yes, they're going to see. So I put my number in, and of course it says, welcome back, Tanisha. So I, I'm looking at the screen and looking at her, looking at the screen, looking at her, and she goes, I'm like, you see it on the screen? She's like, see what on the screen? I'm like, the name. She's like, what name? And then I'm like, oh, shit, it must ain't come up on the screen. So I say shit. Everything was fine. She told me my total. Now I hand her the card, right? And then she sees it on the business card. She see Tanisha Thomas, Inc. And then she goes, I knew it was you. I was like, I was trying to, I was trying to get you and tell you I look better than her, but you wasn't budget. <laughs> she said, your attitude gave it away. I was like, really? She was like, yeah, like the voice. Even if you said no, you should have just did like this. Once you started talking, I was like, that's her. <laughs> I love y'all. I love just say what's up. Some of y'all be staring, some of y'all be staring me down to the point where I'd be ready to fight y'all. I don't know. Outside crazy. People crazy. You don't know what people are gonna do. You understand? So imagine going to the doctor's office, you know, you're walking in, you're already nervous, you don't know what the fuck you're gonna hear. And then the, 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 everybody, like the, the medical assistants, the, the other patients, like this. Everywhere you go, that's what be happening to me. And I'm like, here we go. Here we go. I'm like, just say hi. In my mind, oh my God, just say hi. Especially if I go for results and someone else is there that wasn't there last time. And I'm like, I'm already shook it about, I'm always nervous about everything, everything. I don't know. You just never know. You understand? When you go to these doctors, you just never know what the fuck you're going to hear. And you come back in. I don't even sit in the chair. All right? I don't even sit in the chair, sis. When I go back for results for anything, all right? I be pacing in that office. They be like, the doctor's on break. Where he at? I will pull up. <laughs> I can't fucking wait. I wasn't able to sleep. What's going on? I hate that shit. Oh, my God. Anywho. Uh... Huh? The nails? Oh, you like? I did them for my homie wedding. Shout out to my age. She got married. Y'all saw that? I'm waiting for pictures so I can share with y'all. Tashi, that's my boo. I love her. Uh, I really came through at the last minute. So we were literally altering that dress hours before. So you remember I told y'all, the first lady, the first lady that did the dress, hot rotisserie mess. The woman gonna take on the job, y'all, going through chemo. Miss. I understand you got bills to pay. This is somebody's wedding. Like, no. no. Like, literally ruins everything. Like, shit is falling off the dress. Her dress it, was, it was horrible. So I had to go get mine. I called my girl. Shout out to Shay. Shay was like, bring it. Let me see. Yo, we got there. We was just talking. One, two, three. Shay done made magic happen with the dress. That's what she does. I love it. I just love it. I love that for my sis. God really showed his hand, though, for my homie. That's how I know she's super blessed. 24 hours... 24, yeah, 24 hours leading up to the wedding, God just kept blessing her and working it out in her favor. Like, it just kept happening. She's having a, a meltdown over the dress, and it just so happened. We didn't plan it. I'm five minutes from her. All right? So I go, I get her. We go get the dress and go to my homie. Oh, thank you, baby. Anyway, it's giving what? Beautiful mermaid. Oh, thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. Anyway, I got to run. Huh? Shay Ray J's friend? No, my other girl, Shay, who does, uh, who does, she's tagged on the last post. The baby's upstairs. Um, but Shay, hi, Edson. Shay, Ray J's friend just got married, sis. I, I couldn't go. I was filming. She just had a huge wedding in LA. I'm actually going to check in with her. I've been like such a bad friend. It's not that, you guys. When I do these fucking shows, y'all, and I come home, I was gone for over a month. I come home, I don't want to hear the sound of my voice. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't want nobody talking to me. I don't want to hear the sound. I'm like, don't email me, don't text me. People don't understand. It's a lot. I'm older now. Like, before in my you know, 20s, I could keep going, 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 going. Yo, filming this time, nonstop, 24 hours a day, those cameras never stop. Bruh, bruh. In the nighttime, I used to be in my closet like, did I sign up for? Did I sign up for? <laughs> at night, at night, every night, I was just fucking losing my shit. Like, I gotta do this shit again tomorrow. This shit crazy. Because at 7 a.m., cameras is like, you in bed, trying to, you know, and I gotta get up, take a shower. They in face at 7. And by the time I wind down, it's like 1, 2 in the morning. 
You understand? That was like my schedule. I was like out of it, yo. So when I wrap that show, I'm like, I want to turn my phone off. I hope nobody get offended. I like need a month down. You know what I mean? You know, I used to run in the closet. Just like, ba- like, just like, oh my God, like how long? Because you constantly talking, talking, talking. You got to be on. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be on. You got to understand. You got to be, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm drinking. I'm smoking. But I got to be alert because it's a lot going on. You got to be on your shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. It's a lot. Then glam every minute. It's a lot. Like, fuck. I love it. I'm grateful, but it's a lot. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. I'll tell you more information about the um about the show as we get there, okay? What you say? You couldn't imagine your energy would be drained? Yes. Very sis. Every night I'm de- I was like depleted. Every night. And then as soon as I wake up in the morning, boom, cameras. So I used to put the covers like, guys, I don't have makeup. Please don't do me. <laughs> Let me get glam first. Don't do me. Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are so funny. It does have a name, but you know I can't tell you. I love you guys, too. Y'all be safe and have a good night, okay?